Hey lads, Temps here, welcome you back to another episode of our career mode with Aston Villa, the road to hopefully bringing us into the Champions League. And you'll see now, we have got a scouting network update, the Portuguese guys, and we've got two here, we've got Javier Nuno and Javier Carriero, I don't know. We're going to try them out. They've got a 90 potential. They look half decent. And this guy, Leonardo Adea, doesn't look too great. But, uh, you know, our first game, very short episode. This one, I'll just quickly say, we've got two games in this episode. Uh, I, I'm, it's just a short episode. I can't really say anything other about it. Very exciting episode, though. Very controversial as well. As we go into our first game against West Brom, and uh, we get off to an okay start. Very even game. But uh, we're just passing the ball around, and they just constantly seem to be very good in defence. So that just shows you a little bit of how even it was. They just kept, um, kept on stopping everything we have. But Darren Bent found a way through. Only three minutes later after that, making it 1-0, and um, West Brom and Jalbin are a very respectable club, and they're a very hard team to play against, but at home, we want to become a dominant force, and that's exactly what we seem to be doing, getting a 1-0 advantage against West Brom, and then in the 38th minute, Wilfred Zaha puts it in the back of the net, making it 2-0, looking like we could get a win here in the league, something we haven't been very able to do, I don't think we've actually picked up three points in the league yet, which is very disappointing, but we're just in the first half looking like we could do so, so Wilfred Zaha, lovely goal for such a young rated player. But hopefully now we go on and we do win that match. But our next match is the one that's most interesting. Tottenham Hotspurs. And the one after this is actually Manchester City. But you'll see that in the next episode. And Tottenham have got such a strong um, squad. And things just don't go too well for us. But um, actually only a few minutes in just after kickoff. Aaron Lennon gets injured, which actually gave a smile to my face. Not because um, he's injured, due to the fact that he's a threat and he could be a problem. But this game is very, uh, very weird. As uh, we don't bring our A game, we bring our A game to start off with. But uh, after a while, we start to slope down. And you see now in the 36th minute, one touch play by Tottenham. The sort of football I play when I play FIFA online. And then Dembele getting a great chance, but he can't put it in the back of the net. Dembele has got to be a transfer target for me. I love the guy. He's so very good. But uh, Dempsey and War Dempsey, the replacement for Aaron Lennon, gets through, plays it through to um, Emmanuel Adebayor. Left-footed into the back of the net, near post, I mean, Shea Given should be saving that, the fact that if it was his right foot, I would have understood, but he took it with his left, that's even easier to save, and after this point, we just went downhill, I mean, I didn't show you our highlights, because there was some, but not many, they, that was the best chance of the game, the original first one, but uh, they just go ahead, and you see Norwich are beating Liverpool, <laughs> Go home, FIFA. And uh, they in the 62nd minute, they make it 2-0. Gabriel, um, Emmanuel Adebayor getting the, getting the goal. And it's so disappointing to be seeing that we are playing this poorly. And uh, we've given them a 2-0 advantage. But it's one-touch play once again. And uh, it's just horrible and devastating. We're going to have to hopefully see what we can do. They then make it 3-0. Moussa Dembele with the finesse shot. Top, right, um, top left-hand corner in the 65th minute. Only three minutes later, and I was literally had my head in my hands, and I was thinking, how can we do this? Shea Given was unlucky not to save it, both arms stretching out, and then things just get a lot worse. Moussa Dembele threw on goal, and Kieran Clark slide tackles him, and he gets a red card. I was desperate, trying to get that ball. He would have scored, he might not have. But they gets a red card, and then they do in fact go ahead and score with Scott Parker making it four 0 So an absolute shocking game, shocking episode. In fact, that is the end of the episode, guys. I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. My name is Temps. I'll most likely see you in other videos such as Squad Builders. I'll see you guys later. Bye.